Part one to a flip finish is my dog has to touch up here. With touch up high. That's part one. Part two is, whoopsie, you're anticipating. Step away from me, Zana. Ready? Touch and flip around. And they have to flip around back here. If they don't turn around back here behind the plane of my body, then their turn is too shallow. And then they'll jump up. And from this position here, they'll have to turn their entire body around. And most of the time, dogs don't get all the way around. So they have to touch back here, flip back here. Okay, so what I typically do is I go touch it, touch it, and then they have to touch it, touch it, touch it. They have to commit to staying back there. So, step one, touch high. Step two, turn. Okay, ready? Until they all do it automatically. Ready? Touch. There, see she automatically turns herself around because I've done the motor skill so many times, Zaina. Touch, right, touch or get her to touch back there that she does it automatically. And then the third part is for them to drive into heel position because what happens is dogs will start a flip finish and then they kind of look around because there's the, all of the reward is up here, there's no motivation to come back here. So, Zaina, touch, flip, and then heel. Touch. So I have them touch in heel position so they have desire to drive back into this position and also because the touch helps them square up their feet. Right? Okay, ready? Wait. Stop. Sit. And then sit. Ready? Go. 